Tonight we're having our end of the year gala for NARAP and YPN. We're having it here at the California Automobile Museum. We've done it year after year after year. This year we teamed up with NARAP, put something together. We got the auto museum here, so we got a ton of cool cars. This is a recreation of the very first internal combustion car ever created. 1886 Benz. Carl Benz built it in Germany about six or eight months before Mr. Damler brought his car out. So the first two cars, internal combustion cars, were German, and it was Benz and Damler. This is a, an event, like a thank you event at the end of the year. We just have a good time. Uh, we're coming out, we're dancing. This year we did a Cuban theme, so we have uh, the music, we got the theme, we got palm trees, we got the attire. So I think it's just everybody having a good time and ultimately raising money for, for charity. The cause is to raise money for Cantry, Salvation Army. Last year we been donating about ten dollars to $12,000 every year. Now Rev joined up with us and we're gonna hopefully put some more money in the pockets towards those who, who could use it. I saw a flyer come across from YPN and it just spoke to me for an Rep. And so I got in contact with Bobby Peterson and asked him if we could be part of this. It allows us to get an Rep exposed to another part of our, our real estate industry and bring in some new members and some new exposure. Uh, we're really in a growth mode right now. It's a 1929 Hudson Super 6. If you're a local Sacramentan and you have not visited the California Automobile Museum, this place is amazing. I, I had actually not been here till a couple weeks ago and I was pleasantly surprised. There's a lot of wonderful, beautiful cars. Here's an interesting fact. In 1920, one half of all the cars in the world were Model T Fords. Not just older cars, but there's um, motorcycles, there's race cars. The place is huge, and it's a great place to hold an event. We have a dance floor with music and food, but then also a, a, a giant warehouse, basically, to go through and look at the cars. So, Nobody's really crushed together. They can get crushed together on the dance floor, but when they need to get away, they can escape as well. So this is a fantastic venue for our event. So I've been part of YPN for about four or five years now. I mean, it's really helped me dive in and know people in the industry, lenders, title reps, other realtors, whether it's helping me get another offer accepted, whether it's people bringing, I do flips sometimes, people bringing me deals, um, networking with lenders, knowing who's a good lender, know who to work with, knowing the right title companies. So, I think it's good to know the people in the industry and it can be beneficial for our clients on the back end, some of the stuff they don't even see, but having these relationships can oftentimes get your offer accepted or um, just help you market the property properly um, through this networking. So I think it really is advantageous for everybody to get involved. One of the important things that a lot of people don't understand about NAREP is that we really are advocates for the Hispanic homeownership community on a national level. Every year in March, we go to Washington, D.C., and we go to Capitol Hill, and we actually lobby legislators to enact laws and vote on laws that we know will assist our cause and help sustain Hispanic homeownership. This is a 1933 Lincoln KB. This is a V12 car. It's a flathead V12. And this particular car belonged to one of the most famous people ever to come out of California, named A.P. Giannini. If you guys have any questions about getting involved, it's been a great group for me for four years now. I've met friends, I've had great relationships, I've met partners within, within the industry. There's hidden gems in there that's really um, advantageous for, for realtors and our business and affiliates as well. So I'd say get involved. <laughs>